My name is Steve Hawthorne. I'm a senior research manager here at EERC. And my lab recently has been quite interested in developing methods to look at how carbon dioxide and crude oil interact um, in physical ways and chemical ways and try to get a better understanding on how to use carbon dioxide for enhanced oil recovery both in conventional and unconventional reservoirs. What I'll be showing you here is a video of this high pressure cell right here. Uh, you'll see pictures with a, we'll put a little bit of oil in the bottom of it, crude oil in the bottom, and then we'll be adding carbon dioxide from the top. We'll do this in a controlled manner so we can look at um, the effects of pressure as the carbon dioxide pressure goes up and then we'll drop it back down again from the reservoir pressure back down again and see what happens to the crude oil then under the CO2 conditions. So here's the video that we'll be looking at. The CO2 again is coming in gently from the top. Here's the carbon dioxide pressure and here's the, or the lake of oil at the bottom. You'll see here the minimum miscibility pressure here is 1450 psi Yet even though we're substantially above that, we're only at 875 and now 900 PSI, we're starting to get quite a bit of interaction between the crude oil. You see it trying to distill up and condense down and distill up and condense down. And conventional wisdom kind of says this shouldn't be happening until we approach the visibility pressure of 1450. Yet we get substantial action of the crude oil distilling up and distilling down, trying to come to thermodynamic equilibrium well before the MMP. Now in the next pressure step, we'll finally hit the, the MMP for this oil, and the acti activity does increase quite a bit, but it continues to increase as we go to higher pressures. And again, conventional wisdom kind of says the, the MMP of 1450 is a line in the sand. Things don't happen much above or below that, but until you get to that pressure, there isn't much action. You can see that that is not completely true. If you follow this distillation condensation process through here, you begin to see kind of pseudo phases of different layers of oil CO2 mixtures forming in here and going away and forming again. Um, I'll show you later that they do become stable. Now, right now we're approaching the injection pressure for this reservoir. This is a conventional reservoir. We're at 2150 now. The injection pressure here would actually be about 2300 psi and we're approaching that right now. This will be the next step. We're going to hold this pressure for a little bit and watch these interactions as the oil it distills and condenses down. And then we're going to start dropping the pressure under very defined conditions. And watch what happens, even though we're well above the MMP here. So here we're still at the injection pressure of 2300. The oil and CO2 are still trying to come to thermodynamic heat equilibrium and working quite hard at it. And in a second here, we'll drop that pressure a little bit and look at this oil condense. Now again, conventional wisdom would say since we're well above the 1450 PSI, we should not have this much action going on, but you'll see that it actually does. Every time we drop the pressure, we lose more oil out of the suspended miscible mobile phase. This is what we're trying to produce. Even though we're still 400 PSI above this, the MMP pressure, we continue to lose this oil every time we drop the pressure, which may happen somewhat as you approach the production well as the CO2 front goes through and the pressure drop occurs. Now we're approaching the MMP here. Again, we're still well above it. But we're getting rainstorms, lots of oil is condensing out. The next step will hit the MMP and we get a total rainstorm, complete dew point behavior, lots of condensation of the hydrocarbon as we continue to drop the pressure. More and more rainstorms, more and more rainstorms. Now we get a stable three phases formed of the various combinations of CO2 and oil. And as we continue to drop the pressure, we basically lose all the oil we had suspended in the CO2 phase, goes back into the reservoir crude oil. That's basically what happens with this process. Um, it's kind of a fun video to watch, and I hope you enjoy watching it again. Thank you.